Hi, and thanks for watching On the Front Line at Dr. Allen L.A. Today's episode involves two important things. One, we're going to show you how we are preparing as the disease is increasing in Los Angeles County. We're going to also show you how ill the patients are now presenting to the clinic with this virus. As of the day, the current rate is 10,701 positive coronavirus cases with 237 deaths. It is very, very, very prevalent in this community now. Stay at home signs all throughout the freeway and social distances. I'm going to demonstrate with my staff as well how we're double preparing so we don't get ill and how we're double preparing so we don't get anyone else infected. And then we're gonna have an episode with a very ill patient to show you how sick the patients are presenting to our clinic. Prepare myself and staff for, for testing. We have a patient here that we're testing. We're now going with the under mask and then we're going with the over mask. We're going with the initial set of goggles. And then we're going with the second set of goggles. We're doing double rows. We're doing double rows. And we're also doing hand sanitizer. Along with a double, double pair of gloves to help protect ourselves and staff from the possibility of contracting the illness. As you can see, this young lady is really sick. This virus is really, really uh, uh, prevalent now in our community. Hardly no energy as we're gonna try to treat this young lady, give her some rest, give her something for her symptoms and hope that, 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 that she doesn't turn out positive, but this is, is she's really sick. Um, more than likely, it looks like she may have the, the coronavirus. Uh, all right. If I can get you to, 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 to lay, lay, if you can, lay, lay on, your, on your back here. I know that you have no strength at all. Uh, I'm gonna come right here. Okay. You, you, you're not possibly pregnant, are you? Okay. All right. Sounds good. I'm going to kind of get you to, to uh, if you can, just kind of straighten up a little bit if you can. Perfect. Perfect. Now, uh, the fever was 102. We, we've given the patient Tylenol. Uh, now, what's going to happen, I'm, I'm going to go to the back of your nose there. Okay, you ready? I know. You said nobody's never ready to go to the back of my nose, doc. Yeah, I know. I know, baby. And I know you, you, you're feeling miserable. Hold tight. I'm just going to do that. That's going to be the first thing. I'm just going to stop right there because I got to get a good swab. It's okay. Now I have to push a little back a little bit. I'm going to ease back. That's, that, that's first. That's all we're doing. Now I'm going to get a good swab. Okay. I'm going to move one, two, three, and that's it. You did perfect. You did perfect. You did perfect. You did perfect. Okay. Now, uh, um, this young lady is pretty sick. We're going to wish the best for her as we test for the COVID-19. And we should have results within uh, 24 hours. It's been taking us one day. Uh, uh, the guy's not going to come and treat you with the regular illness. You're going to get the antibiotic shot and the pills that we have for you. And I should have an answer by tomorrow. As you can see in today's episode, this illness is very aggressive. Within 48 hours of contracting a sore throat and cough, the patient went extremely downhill with weakness, body aches, fever, and inability to just stand and walk. This disease is very aggressive. If you are having any symptoms, body aches, fever, weakness, please go see your provider. And if you can't see your provider, Go to a urgent care and us, it depends on you, and make sure you're checked and if necessary, tested.
Thank you for watching On the Front Line at Dr. Allen, L.A.